Hi, welcome to the Float Lab. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how Argo floats work. Um, you can see that we're in one of the assembly labs here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Um, in the background we have some assembled floats that are ready to get deployed, and then in front here we have this nice demo float that lets us see the inside of the floats because it has this nice glass face. And so starting at the bottom, I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, mechanics of how the floats work. And so what we have is uh, the floats basically go up and down in the ocean and they profile down to 2,000 meters. And how they make themselves go up and down is by changing their volume. And because their mass stays the same, the changing their volume changes their density, which allows them to become either more or less dense of the seawater around them. And so it gets to go up and down the water column. And so how it does that is by pumping oil, which sits in this internal bladder, via a piston to a bladder that's on the outside of the float. And you can't actually see the external float here, but this is just a plastic casing around, and there's holes at the bottom so that water can get in. And then there is a, currently a deflated um, bladder that's sitting inside, and when the oil goes from the inside to the outside, that bladder expands, and then the net volume of the float actually changes. And so it does that and it senses where it is and can control how much oil it wants to pump in or out to control it going up and down. And looking at the other components of the float, here we have a bunch of batteries. The batteries give it energy to move up and down and do this every 10 days uh, for about five or six years. And then as we go up, we just have some electronics um, and the electronics control and store the data that's coming out of the head, which is where all the sensors are. And so this black piece that's on the top is called a CTD, or a Conductivity Temperature Pressure Sensor. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little black opening up here, and the water goes in, goes past the thermistor, which measures the temperature, and then goes into a cell that measures the conductivity, which we turn it into salinity, and then gets pumped back out. There's a, this nut right here is actually the pressure sensor, which measures um, how, what depth the ocean's at. And so that data goes into electronics, it stores the data, there's a little bit of um, onboard processing, and then when it gets to the top, the antenna pops out of the ocean and sends all that data back to us via Iridium uh, satellites. And so this is the antenna. Uh, what's not on this guy is the stability disk. This is a, uh, a disk that goes on all of them. It helps keep it um, stable, basically, as it profiles up and down the ocean. Um, and also what we don't see is how we deploy them. And so once they're all assembled and they're tested here in the lab, we put them into boxes and we ship them all over the world. And those boxes uh, get loaded on ships, which go out into the ocean and then gently put into the water where they are deployed and then sample for a number of years into the ocean.